What is this? Uh, how is this possible? Safe place. What's it doing to her? Is she breathing in that thing? Offspring one. Slight abnormality in the right atrium. You have functioned for 12,589 days. Soon you will cease to function. You don't belong here. Whoever you are, please. I have to get home to my daughter. She'll be waiting for me. I'm afraid you won't be seeing Ayanna again, dear. Please, I have to go home. I can't leave my little girl. Oh, please. I have to go home. She'll be waiting for me. Please, whoever you are, I'm begging you, please. Let me out. Goodbye, my dear. What people? They're screaming. Sarah, who's screaming? Everyone. Shut it down. Shut it down! Sir, stay with me. Stay with me. They're coming. The door is closed. A basic force dynamic expression. The presence of two force exerting elements. The expression, the door is closed, is force dynamically neutral. Good. The door cannot open. There is a recognizable force dynamic pattern. The door has some tendency towards opening, but there is another force preventing it from being opened. And what opens the door? To open the door requires an opposing dynamic force. Which is? The antagonist. A force entity with the intrinsic force tendency towards action. Is the antagonist always visible? No. A gust of wind made the pages of my book turn. Okay, now you're just showing off. Sarah, can it be opened? Yes. What opens the door? Free. Sarah, what do you see? People. Ah! They're screaming. Sarah, who's screaming? Everyone. Shut it down. Shut it down! Jesus, baby, don't you ever get tired?
bitch. Fuck are you? <laughs> hey! I'm talking to you! <laughs> Would you say something for fuck's sake? Lost Sarah's transmission, sir. Damn. Well, I guess that's that. Thank you. You're dismissed. Sir, we've actually received a second transmission. Coming from the same location. They're waiting for you down in science. Tell them I'm on my way. We'll do one more thing, sir. Agent Brighton? has disappeared. Shit. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so you can at least say something? Please tell me your name. Sarah. Zach. Sarah. Sarah, do you know who I am? Sarah, it's me. It's Agent Brighton. The door. Is it open? Something about this isn't right. Why send her up in cognizant? It doesn't make sense. Unless... Zach, have they made contact? What? No. It could indicate a remote interface. No, no, that doesn't follow. His interface required a hard wire. <laughs> What's happening to her? Never got you good. What did she say? Sarah, can you understand me? Uh, how'd she do that? Do what? Do you classy gal? That, Sarah. I want to know how she did that. Zach, calm down. Calm down? Don't tell me to f calm down. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh God, let me out. Help! Miss, listen to me. You have to remain calm. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Lady, please, you're just you're making it worse, okay? Too late, she's flooding. What the hell's flooding? That. Lady. 
Eddie, please. Just, you gotta listen to no. me. No. Let it happen. Let what happen? Good. That's good. Good? How can that be good, lady? Please, just listen to me, all right? Just trust me on this what one. What part of let it happen didn't you understand? That's it. That's it, come on. Atta girl. Are you out of your mind? Now you listen to me. Unconscious is a hell of a lot better than dead. A few seconds more, her spine would have snapped like a pencil. You got that? Now shut up and let me think, God damn it. Sarah. I don't know what they've done to you, but if you're inside this thing, I need you to open the door. What the f is going on? God damn it, Sarah, open the door! I don't understand, Doctor. I need you to explain it to me. When? I, I don't know. Uh, just before he left. Th that was, what, 10 years ago? How does it work? Sarah's transponder generates a stabilized density matrix that sends a pulse over to John's telling it to generate at the same frequency. Because they share a confluent timeline, even from variable reference points, they both get drawn into the same quantum subsystem. <laughs> it's pretty uh, groovy, huh? So you're saying that they arrived together? We, we set a radial distance of 12 and a half feet, so yeah. I don't understand. Why did it take so long to pick up his signal? She's been gone for more than 48 hours. But the transmissions were in phase, sir. It wasn't until the frequency dropped in amplitude that we even realized that there were two. I mean, it's been 10 years, and to be honest, I wasn't even sure it was gonna work. I mean, back engineering isn't an exact science, especially with technology this advanced. It's ironic, I know. Keep me posted. Damn it, John. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Sarah, I don't know what they've done to you, but if you're inside this thing, I need you to open the door. What do they want, Sarah? Why are they here? It's obvious they need something from us, otherwise we'd already be dead. Hello? Wouldn't do that if I were you. You're only making it worse. Yeah, I know the f My name's John. Well, John, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Shit! What the hell are all these things? Perhaps you'd like to give me my opinion. It's an auto response mechanism. So if you like the idea of spending the last few minutes of your life minus your extremities, by all means, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, what? Of course, it all depends on how long it takes for you to bleed out. My guess is you've got high blood pressure, not to mention all that straining. Anyway, it's fine by me. You've barely been awake a minute and you're already giving me a headache. Who's the buffed The name's Zach. Oh, is there a difference? So where the fuck are we, lads? Don't look like no shovel and pick I've ever seen. Yeah, I'll bet you've seen a few. As a matter of fact, I have. Busted out of half as many as I've been in, pleased to say. Let's start again. My name is John. You are? Perry. What's the last thing you remember? I don't know. Puking my guts out, I reckon. Hey! Did you bring the talk? Mr. Bulmer. You gotta help me, Doc. My guts feel rotten. Open your mouth, please, Mr. Bulmer. I was sick as well. Clearly a side effect of transport. Transport? What do you mean, transport? It means this is some right fine magic. Right, magic. Hilarious. 
Roger that. Of the extraterrestrial variety. Okay. Everyone who agrees with Dumbledore over here, raise your hand. Huh? Anyone? Anyone? Take a good look around. You find me one single thing that looks like something we could have built. You see, my old man was in Tool and Die for near 50 years. So I know machines. I know machines as well as I know thieving, boy. And believe me, I know thieving. One man's magic is another man's genius. And I ain't never seen no genius like this. So, if it ain't built by man, and you don't believe in magic, then something else must have built it. Oh, come on, dude. What, you're saying we've been abducted by, like, aliens? No, no, don't be daft. Pygmies. You fucking twat. Of course, fucking aliens. Jesus Christ, I think the transport is leaving brains by. We've known about them for some time, but why they're here and what they want, I'm afraid that's still part of the mystery. Well, now. I knew there was more to you than meets the eye, Johnny boy. What? You think I was born orange? There was a time when certain organizations found my particular set of skills quite useful. I work with lots of blokes like you, Johnny boy. If I was blind, I could smell you. Mm. So what's your poison? CIA? NSA? FBI. Defense. So, how long have they been doing this? Taking people? We believe a long time. My team allocated considerable resources into tracking bona fide abductees. It wasn't easy. People go missing all the time. Oh, fuck, shit, this is, this is like fire in the sky. D.B. Sweeney, he got home okay. That's good, right? Oh, they did fuck him up first. It's not so good. We thought if we could isolate commonalities, it might help us understand what we're dealing with. Help us to stop it. Okay, so what? We're talking like little green men here, right? They're not green. And they're definitely not little. This, it's incredibly important that you listen to me and remain calm. I can't. Miss, I know you're afraid, but if you do exactly as I say, we can get through this. Do you understand? Good. Now I want you to close your eyes. I'm claustrophobic. Miss, I need you to trust me. Close your eyes. My name's John. What's yours? Rhonda. Rhonda, I want you to take a deep breath and release it slowly, you understand? Good. Good, that's good. Oh, Rhonda. Please, Rhonda, love. Listen to me. I know what you're going through. Believe me, I do. I spent a lot of years in cells, not much bigger than myself, so I understand, all right? But we've got to calm down. We all want to get out of here alive now, don't we? Yeah? You need to close your eyes and breathe. Come on now, trust me on this one, love. All right? Now I want you to imagine your most favorite place in the whole wide world. Maybe it's a real place. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little spot you got tucked away in the back of your mind. But either way, and this is the important thing, Rhonda. This place is yours and yours only. And when you're there, you're completely and utterly safe. No one and no thing can ever get you. It's your safe place. Everything else just disappears. You got
got their place now. Good girl. Now, if you don't mind, I fancy carrying on talking. <laughs> Is that all right with you? Mm. So what's a lovely girl like you do for a living, Rhonda? I'm, I'm a teacher. You don't say. Mm. My mum was a, a primary school teacher. South East London. Fucking tough gig that, eh? <laughs> High school. Oh, Jesus. Deserve a king's accommodation for bravery for that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> What about yourself, love? You got any little ends of your own? Little girl. Ayanna. Uh, She's eight. Oh, that's a lovely age, isn't it? They still need you at eight. Mm -hmm. My oldest is uh, 19 now. When the blokes uh, start coming, it's, uh, it's a different story, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, in a couple of seconds, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes, all right? But you've got to be able to create a strong tether to that place in your mind. Because whatever happens here, you need to be able to get back there as quick as you can, you understand? All right. Go on then, open your eyes. All right, keep looking at me, I'm right here. All right? There you go. All right, now listen. I reckon we're a long way from home, but I promise you we are going to get back. But you've got to keep strong. Keep your wits about you. Yeah, you think you can do that? OK, now the first thing we need to figure out is what's a common denominator. Why us? Well, maybe we're just lucky. <laughs> Rhonda, what's the last thing you remember? I, I, I don't know. I... <sighs> no. Wait. I... I was on my way to work, and I just dropped off Ayanna at school, and I started to feel nauseous, and I felt this really horrible pain than here. How is that possible? Jack! Jack! Miss, listen to me. Tu vois son nom. Tu l'appelles comme tu veux. Ça fait plus d'une heure, là. T'as l'air haut? Tu te fous de ma gueule, mec. J'ai déjà baisé les poupées qui valaient mieux que ça. Désolé, c'est déjà tapé ta dos. Quoi? Y a pas moyen, mec. Dégage, dites merde, dis pas la junkie. Non, 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 fais pas ça, putain. Miss! Jacques! Il n'y a pas de Jacques ici! Tu ne vois pas? Regarde autour de toi. Nous sommes seuls. Tu comprends? Seuls. We're all alone. Jacques ne peut pas t'entendre. Personne ne peut. Donc, s'il te plaît, arrête. Il n'y a que toi que tu te fais de mal. Vous êtes qui Nous sommes réveillés ici comme toi. Tous. Je m'appelle Rhonda. Comment tu t'appelles 
Alex. Est-ce que tu parles anglais, Alex? What are these things? They're auto-responsive. I don't understand. What he's trying to say, love, is if you struggle, it'll rip your arms off. Subtle. Nice. Who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Father Christmas. These are me elves. Oh, and that one there. He wants to be a dentist. Fuck you. I know you. Zach, you know this woman? Know her? How would I know her? She just said she knew you. Yeah, so what's your point? Oh shit, you're Zach Chase. Zach, what's going on? Look, it's just the way it is, all right? Just because somebody says they know me, it doesn't mean they know me. Wait a minute. You have absolutely no idea who I am, do you? <laughs> Uh, Zach Chase, Mossy Ledge, it's Vand. <laughs> look at me, mate. Do I look like I do boy band? It's a rock band, you shithead. You were a famous pop star when I was little. Rock star. And what do you mean when you were little? You died. Okay, yeah, and you're obviously still high. I'm not fucking high. Do I look dead to you? Hey, get off my ass. I'm just saying what I know, okay? When a big pop star Rock gets star. murdered by his fiance, uh, people talk about it. What the fuck are you talking about, murdered? It was all over the news. I was just a kid, but I remember my sister really loving your shit. <laughs> anyway, it was a big trial. Your fiancé was found guilty, and they put her in jail for life. Hammer. She made up some uh, bullshit story about you disappearing in a big flash of light. <laughs> You'd have to be fucking crazy to think anyone's gonna believe that shit. <laughs> anyway, they never found the body. Yeah, well, obviously, there was no body. Alex, how long ago was this? I don't know, um... Maybe 15 years. Cut the bullshit. Alex, what year is it? <laughs> really? Alex. The year. 2018? <laughs> See? what I tell you? Out of her fucking mind. I'm not an idiot, asshole. I know what your it is. Here's a little tip. Lay off the skag. Oh, and Alice Cooper called. He wants his makeup back. Et pourquoi tu irais pas te faire foutre, putain? What? Well, for starters, love, you're about four years out. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's 2050, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Okay, seriously, is everyone losing their minds, or...? Why? What did I say? It's 2001! Bugger off. That's not possible. It's 1977. Okay. You guys, this isn't funny. John, come on, tell him what year it is. 1969. Oh, we're fucked. It's gonna get a lot worse. Really? And just how could it get any worse than this? Fuck, it's worse.
What is this? Uh, how is this possible? Safe place. What's it doing to her? Is she breathing in that thing? Offspring one. Slight abnormality in the right atrium. You have functioned for 12,589 days. Soon you will cease to function. You don't belong here. Whoever you are, please, I have to get home to my daughter. She'll be waiting for me. I'm afraid you won't be seeing Ayanna again, dear. Please, I have to go home. I can't leave my little girl. Oh, please, I have to go home. She'll be waiting for me. Please, whoever you are, I'm begging you, please, let me out. Goodbye, my dear. Sarah, who's screaming? Everyone. Shut it down. Shut it down! Come on, Sarah, stay with me. Stay with me! They're coming. Listen to me. Alex, look. Look around you. Look. Harnessing energy. I swear I'll never do drugs again. Are you kidding? We get out of this? The first thing I'm gonna do? Drugs! Lots and lots of drugs! 
Zach, remember when Rhonda first gained consciousness? Her claustrophobia put her in a completely different class of fear than the rest of us. The electrical activity behind her chair was enormous, but it waned when she hyperventilated and then stopped completely the moment she passed out. This last surge was most aggressive when Rhonda was most afraid. And then just now, with Alex. I'm not afraid, okay? I'm just pissed. You are not that puppet fucker, I'm just pissed! There it is. I'm onto you, damn it. That's not a coincidence. This whole time I assumed it was coming from the ship. It isn't. It's coming from us. So what? You're saying we're like fuel? That's precisely what I'm saying. It wants us to be afraid. It needs us to be. We're feeding this son of a bitch. We're fucking fuel? We knew they were harvesting us for a reason. We just didn't know what that reason was. Till now. Who are you? I work for the War Department. At least I did. 22 years ago, we recovered the remains of an unidentified flying object just outside of Roswell, New Mexico. I was called in to head up the first response team. Fuck me, it's true. We managed to recover most of the craft, including the occupant who died in the crash. We surmised early on that the ET had a telepathic link to his vessel. There was no throttle or steering mechanism that we could identify. And when we dissected the propulsion system, we were unable to identify an energy source. You see, the creature's mind didn't just control the craft. It powered it. It was hardwired into the vessel. Somehow his species had discovered a way to convert thought into a viable form of kinetic energy. I was to learn later that Roswell wasn't the first, and certainly wasn't the last. A similar crash had occurred in Pino Altos a couple of years earlier. That discovery launched the most comprehensive research program ever undertaken by the US government. Truth is, we didn't even know what we were looking for. But what we found changed everything. There was widespread sporeal contamination, not just at the crash site, but throughout the surrounding area, including a local mining community. We tested everyone in the town, men, women, children, all under the auspices of possible contamination from a nearby chemical spill. Not a single person exhibited any signs of illness. No physical or psychological illness, no mutagenic effects, nothing. We detained them for as long as we could. A town that small, it's easy to raise suspicion. In the end, we had to let them go. All but one. Turned out one of the miners' wives was pregnant. A blood sample taken in utero revealed a hemoglobin abnormality we'd never seen before. The child was confiscated by order of the War Department and sent to Raven Rock for further testing. What's Raven Rock? It's a top secret research facility. Like I said, mate, wasn't born orange. Was it a boy or a girl? It was a girl. What happened to her parents? We switched it out with a baby whose mother had died in childbirth. The parents never knew. Putain, man. The hemoglobin abnormalities were only the beginning. Brain scans showed electrical activity so far off the charts they had to create new systems of measurement. Visual and spatial acuity were beyond anything we'd seen up to that point or since. When the child was 12 years old, she manifested an extraordinary ability. We called it teclepathy. The ability of the human brain to interface with electrical-based systems. No doubt immunogenic response from sporeal contamination. Of course, we didn't know half of what we know now. Reverse engineering their technology was slow and rather difficult. Later, the mutagenic response to the spores enabled the child to communicate with the vessel in the same way. What did she do? 
She opened the door. That was the term our team used for initializing the vessel. She only did it once. Never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. But for a few seconds, she was in telepathic communication with an alien technology. One that nearly killed her. What she saw, that's anyone's guess. She wouldn't talk about it. Apparently, top brass felt I was too close to the project. Too emotionally invested, they said. They were probably right. Sarah. Sarah, I need you to tell me when you can see the door. I see it. Good. Sarah, I need you to open it. Afraid. I know. I know. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. Afraid. Sarah, honey, listen, I need Jesus, you. Jesus, John. She's not your goddamn daughter. She's a weapon. Our weapon. The only one we've got. Activate the vessel, Sarah. The world is counting on us. Do you understand that, Sarah? The world. Now, activate the goddamn machine. Delay that order. General, look at her. God damn it, Alistair. You're gonna kill her. That's enough. Go home. Don't come back until you have your priorities figured out. I'm sorry about what happened to your family, John. I am. But I've got a family, too. We all do. And I'll be goddamned if I'll let those bastards take them away from us. I'm sorry. I was transferred to Washington shortly after. But I'd made a promise. I wasn't about to let them send a 12-year-old girl all alone into an alien vessel. A colleague of mine had reverse engineered the alien technology, and so before I left, we made certain of one thing. If Sarah went, so would I. Do you have to leave? Yeah, I do. Will you come back and visit? I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. I don't want you to go. Hey, have I ever told you how blue whales communicate? Mm -mm. It's pretty amazing. They can actually send each other messages across the ocean. For real? Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking half the ocean. I'm talking the entire ocean. They send out this low-frequency pulse that travels for thousands of miles. Mm. Anyway, the nanites in these transponders do kind of the same thing. Only they travel a lot further. How much further? Far enough that if anyone ever tries taking you away from here, they'll have to deal with me. And trust me, they don't want to deal with me. Promise? Promise. You go. I go. It's ready, sir. That was the last I saw her. 
until now. Specialized extraterrestrial reconnaissance agent. Sarah, for short. God knows what they've done to her. Still, she's here. Which means they know something I don't. They wouldn't have sent her up if they didn't think she could destroy this damn thing, work her way into its programming, corrupt it. It's been our contingency since the beginning. We called it Project Ithaca. Maybe they just got desperate. Who knows what happened after you left? What I do know is that pony there, Odysseus, she ain't. So, if we're all from different times, what year is it? It's impossible to say. We don't know if we've been lying here in stasis or if the ship exists in some kind of temporal anomaly. I think we have a bigger problem. Sarah? Burns are severe, John. What we can do now is watch her and see how she responds to the treatment. But she's a fighter, John. If anyone can pull through this, it's Elizabeth. Of course, you know that everything I'm saying is a lie. What? Elizabeth is going to die, John. And even if there was some miracle, she would wish each and every day that she had died. Because survival means the worst pain you can possibly imagine. Not to mention living a lot of face. Such a pretty girl. It's a damn shame. And it's all because of you, isn't it, John? Because you're a selfish, stubborn son of a bitch. Maggie wanted to stop in a motel. Do you remember? John, stop. It's getting late. But no. You had to drive. You have to keep going. The world according to Agent Brighton. Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> Mr. Government Man. No. 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 It's me. It's Sammy. Really? Listen to me, you dumb gun. I ain't your father. And you ain't my sweet bee. So if you're trying to get inside my fucking head, you gonna fuck off! I put that demon to rest a long time. If you really wanted to fuck me up, you'd have shown up as my ex-wife. Oma, Harry Carroll, 
You have functioned for 18,988 days. You are a primitive life form. Go fuck yourself! Fucking is irrelevant. I see that's your first problem, innit? We done now. Soon you will cease to function. Right then. Well, in that case, I might as well get some shut eye. Seeing as though I can actually lie down. Belly are so good. <laughs> Kids pense que je suis. Où est la jolie petite fille? Elle va avoir besoin qu'on s'occupe d'elle un jour. <laughs> Peut-être ça devrait être moi. Alex, viens ici, Alex. Ma chouette. Je vais te montrer quelque chose. Ah bien. Tu es là. Il n'y a pas de quoi avoir peur. Je veux juste te montrer quelque chose. T'inquiète-toi pas. Je veux pas te faire peur. Je veux pas te faire mal. On va s'amuser, toi et moi. Je veux bien m'occuper de toi. John. It's Sarah. How? I isolated a channel in your prefrontal cortex so you could communicate without them knowing. The sensation is odd, I know. What is this place? An echo. Why oh, here? It's around a safe place. A powerful memory. Peaceful. I can see why she chose it. Now that she's gone, it's no longer important to them. They won't think to look for us here. I know what they want, John, but we don't have much time. What did they do to you? What they had to. General Borland wanted assurances that his plan to destroy the vessel wouldn't be uncovered by an alien technology capable of reading minds. Erasing my memory was the only way of ensuring I wouldn't be perceived as a threat. Once aboard, it was hoped that the Sporeal Nanites would automatically interface with their corresponding technology and repair the damage. It was a calculated risk that seems to have worked. Even now, I can feel my connection to the vessel growing stronger. What is it? A biomechanoid governed by a highly advanced artificial superintelligence. And the door? A jar. 
You were right, John. They're harvesting energy. Why? They're protecting a digitized life form suspended in an electrified plasmic matrix. It requires a unique energy signature. Us. It's tapping our emotions as a food source. And that's not all. Their secondary purpose is to harvest enough energy to open an interdimensional portal. They're transferring ships. Not only ships. Bodies. Their bodies. The ship was designed to create a stabilized density matrix, allowing it to exist along multiple points in time. That explains things. But I don't understand why would it do that. The energy expenditure alone. They're looking for something. What are they looking for? Me. Sarah, I don't understand. Why are they looking for you? Something's wrong. Thought we could use a moment alone. She's a bad seed, that one. You'd do well to stay away from her. What are you? Oh, Atticus. We are old. Tired. Tired of fighting. Tired of traveling. Some of us just want to go home. Isn't that what you want? What all you want? To go home. How do you know my name? Brighton Atticus John. Oh, we know plenty about you. For instance, did you know that you've been functioning for 18,537 days, four minutes, and 10, 11, 12? Well, you get the picture. You know, We've seen all kinds. And in the grand old scheme of things, humans ain't nothing special. Well, we don't mean that in no disparaging way. Just is what it is. In fact, most y'all ain't worth a sack of skin you came in. But you, Atticus, you're different. We got our eyes on you. Yes, sir. We sure do. What is this? Why, Atticus, this is our moment. You see, some of us understand that sometimes you got to break the rules. Sometimes, for the greater good, you even got to go up against your own kind. Help the helpless. In our case, that means helping you. Once activated, the trend Ever since your wife and daughter died, you've been chasing forgiveness. Isn't that right, Atticus? Chased it all the way down to that there little girl. That's good. Sarah needs you, and we need her. You go, I go. Now there's a lovely proposition. But you see, technology's a funny thing, Atticus. Imperfect machines made by imperfect men. All them scientists so pleased with themselves that unbeknownst to y'all, a power surge goes and blows it all to hell. Your transponder failed, Atticus. Mm-hmm. Isn't fate just the damnedest thing? You should know by now that struggling isn't in your best interest. As are you. Like a normal person. (sighs) 
We... We all thought you were, you know, batshit crazy. Batshit? Crazy. I'm fully cognizant of our situation. What did they do to you? What they had to. Did it hurt? Yes. But it was necessary. I'm sorry. I wanted to say thank you. I was only 11 when it happened, and my mother, she... You're welcome. <laughs> you know, I always fantasize about doing that. <laughs> so is it true? What John said? That uh, you can really speak to this thing? The nanites provide a stabilized neural interface, yes. So you, you can get us out of here? I don't know. I don't understand. I thought you just said that they severed the link. But... They said you are up here to help us, right? I mean, uh, isn't that why they sent you up here? Yes. I don't want to die, you know. I know I spent my whole bloody life trying, but I don't. Not really. You're not gonna die, Alex Gautier. But you just said you can't. Look at me. You're not gonna die. Not here. Not in this thing. How do you know? I just do. Sarah. John, are you all right? Sarah, they know about the transponder. Yes. What transponder? Then you know it shouldn't have worked. What? I saw it, Sarah. My transponder was never calibrated. It was never initialized. What transponder? Jesus, man. Come on, just... Couple of seconds. Shall you go? It wasn't initialized. No, that's impossible. You go, I go, remember? There was an accident. A human error. They knew about you. About Ithaca. They knew about everything. So much for your Trojan horse. Don't you see, Sarah? They brought me here. They brought me here. Why? Back at Raven Rock, when you initialized the craft, what did you see? Death. Rhonda's death. Saw the future. In a manner of speaking. In a manner of speaking. You saw a woman's death ten years before it happened, love. What other manner is there? And what about the rest of us? I didn't see anything else. Listen, if what Johnny Boy says about you is true, then I think now would be a brilliant time to prove it. Yeah? So, how about you do whatever it is you do and, uh, I don't know, get us the fuck out of here. I can't. They severed the interface. Um, slight problem. We're on a ship, right? In outer space. I mean, even if we get out of this, then, then what? Because, you know, it's fucking space. Right. She does have a... <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? Peaceful. 
Hard to believe all those horrible things could be happening just a few feet away. <laughs> Strapped down in those ghastly old things. But they are. Yes, Miss Sarah, they most certainly are. What are you? Well, dear, I've always maintained that what we are isn't anywhere near as important as who we are. Stop what you're doing. Let us go. Oh, I couldn't do that even if I wanted to. Tell me, Miss Sarah. How many people you reckon are aboard this vessel? Thousands. You can feel them, can't you? All those souls crying out, suffering, just like your friends are suffering. I used to always wonder why you cared so much. You ain't never been treated well by nobody, except John. You don't owe these people nothing. But I know you now, Miss Sarah. Yes, ma'am. I sure do. Ooh, we're coming on dreadful times, Miss Sarah. Dreadful times. Of course, you already know that. Was it just some accident that your mama was infected by those spores that made you what you are? I don't rightly know, but I've been around a long time. A long time. Long enough to know that fate is one fickle bitch. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Stop provoking the man! Oh, sweetheart. I didn't know you can. We've been going round and round and round with you, Miss Sarah. A good many of us are just plain tired. We just want to go home. You're not making any sense. Why are you here? Why, Miss Sarah? To help you. <laughs> you got power in you. Real power. More than they care to admit. You make them afraid. And they ain't used to being afraid. You can get out of here if you want to. Save your friends. Always could. Tell me how. Well, now. Only you can answer that. All you have to ask yourself, Miss Sarah, is what opens the door?
You're inside this thing. I need you to open the door. She only did it once. You got power in you. Sarah. Sarah, I need your help. Sarah, what do you see? I see... you. So is it true? What John said? You can really speak to this thing. The nanites provide a stabilized neural interface. Yes. They said you are here to help us, right? I mean, uh, isn't that why they sent you up here? Yes. We don't know if we've been lying here in stasis or if the ship exists in some kind of temporal anomaly. It's 2050. It's 2001. It's 1977. The ship was designed to create a stabilized density matrix, allowing it to exist along multiple points in time, time, time. Sarah, what opens the door? We do. Sarah, what was that? What did I just see? You have everything you need to stop them. Sarah, I don't understand. Goodbye, John. What? No. Sarah, don't. You go, I go. Remember? You go, I go doesn't work like that. No, Sarah, don't. You can't do this. God damn it, Sarah, no! They've been taking us for years. They take us against our will. From our homes. And from our families. But there are those among us with the ability to fight back. level the playing field.
until now we were unknown to them. Until now they thought we were helpless. We're not. 